Hey guys, Mark with Think Insurance, helping you save time and money on your insurance policy. Today we're talking about coverage C, personal property. This is kind of a little bit of a cluster. We're gonna get into it fairly quickly and easy to understand. It's quite literally your personal property. That's the official definition. So when you're looking at your homeowner's policy, you're gonna see that this price is ridiculously high. There's portions of this that have limits. So when you're talking about your personal property, we're talking about everything, your shoes, your couch, your TV, everything that you own in that house. If you took the house, if you were to rip the roof off and shake it, anything that falls out is gonna fall under that covered seat, something that's not bolted down to the house. This includes jewelry, watches, furs, paintings, all sorts of computers, electronics, anything that you own. There's limits to some of the higher cost items in your policy. So you have to read specifically what your limits are. Most commonly, you're gonna have anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 limit for jewelry. Sometimes when you even extend the coverage, you will get a higher limit but you're gonna be limited per item. So be very careful when you're talking about jewelry. That's kind of its own bundle, which we will get into later in this series. Computers are not typically covered beyond $2,500 in most policies. I personally have a $5,000 endorsement that increases that limit for computers. Anything collectible has a limit as well, usually about $1,500. So if you have a Van Gogh painting hanging on your wall and it's a couple hundred thousand dollars, you might wanna think about adding more insurance not in coverage C, you have to schedule it, which we will dive into a little bit later. Essentially, that's what we're saying is that we own this. We have proof that we own it. We have proof that's authentic. We have proof of value. And so we're gonna go in and state that and get an actual coverage for that item directly. Some things that you really need to know, whenever you're going to write a home's policy, a very, very important piece of coverage C is you need to make sure that you have full replacement cost on your items. They do two versions of this. They call it full replacement cost on your home and full replacement cost on your personal belongings. It's great if you have both, but the part that we're talking about, it's very, very important that you have it on your personal contents because that is a full value. Let's take, for example, a couch. If I bought a couch 10 years ago for $1,500 and that couch was claimed today and I don't have full replacement value, then I'm gonna lose that value over those 10 years. That couch at a garage sale might cost $100. I'm really upside down on that purchase. Same thing goes with the TV. TVs change and the technology changes so much. A 70 inch TV five years ago was $8,000. Today, it's $3,000. What they're gonna do is instead of giving you that depreciated value, is they're gonna give you that guaranteed amount of what that TV sells for today. Now keep in mind, that's not giving you the full value of what you paid for it. So I may have only paid $7,000 for that TV back five years ago. The newest version of it might only be worth 3,000, but a used version is probably worth four or $500. So I paid 8,000, the claim came through. I don't get $8,000, I get either a new TV or I get the value of the newest version of that TV. So if that TV is $3,500, I get that $3,500. Same thing goes if the value goes up. If for some reason that model TV had the same technology and the same info, then it might have been worth 9,000. So I'm gonna get that $9,000 to fully replace my contents. So just make sure that you have full replacement cost on your contents. Coming up next, we're gonna go into coverage D, which is loss of use. So go ahead and click that video to move forward to the next section. Go ahead and click it, it's there.